Troy Rawlings here, back with another Dear Troy Quickie. Let me make sure I got some light. How y'all feel? How y'all feel? All right. I call it a quickie because I'm going to try to get it in under. And thank you for the wonderful sister, I think it was Sean, who told me, Troy, what this is an Insta story. This is IGTV. So I'm trying to get this under 10 minutes so it can go on IGTV. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get to it. This dear Troy, I love it when we get the brothers, the brothers, I call, brothers and sisters, I call all men and women brothers and sisters. So sometimes I'm talking to somebody, I'm like, hey, the sister was there. They got the sister right there. Like, my sister? The, the light-skinned sister right there. The white woman? I said, she a sister. <laughs> so I call everybody brothers and sisters. Forgive me. Uh, so this one is from a brother. Um, good topic, good topic. Let's start off. He doesn't say dear Troy, it's brother. Hmm. <laughs> so, here is my question. Why do I always get the quote-unquote you are too nice phrase from women and the we can only be friends card? I don't get it. And how is it that you have to have a ton of things in common with each other? Other. Some, I'm from Baltimore. Sometimes you get other instead of other. With each other. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Because the woman I really want to marry gave me that one. We have the most we have the most important things in common. We both love the Lord and want to serve him. We are very physically attracted to each other. We like to go hiking and outdoors. She just doesn't understand that I am interesting in what she, interested in what she's interested in. And I'm happy doing the things uh, that she likes to do. Whether it be going to an opera or play or a concert. Yeah, so she doesn't like sports. So she doesn't have to. I can do that with my friends. That's what friends are for. So you get time away from each other. Friends are so you can get time away from each other and you don't smother each other all the time. I am not your normal guy. I will go with the girl on a shopping spree and hold her purse while she tries everything on. It doesn't matter. I work long enough in retail to promote certain looks. <laughs> LOL. Uh, he goes on to say that they both been married before because I asked them a couple other questions. They both, um, they both been married before. They dated for like six months, some years back, and they were going to the same church. Everything seemed to be going fine, and then she was like, "We don't have enough in common." So, they, she left, went to another church. They kind of hadn't seen each other. He had commented on a picture, or or, and um. She texted him. They started talking again, and they started dating again. And then she gave him the same thing. We don't have enough in common. Um, he said, "I don't get it. I don't get it. We get along great, and we have great chemistry." All right, yo, my man, my brother from another mother, signed. I'm the man right in front of you. The man right here. Okay, he didn't put that. I just figured it'd be good to say that. Uh, <laughs> all right. This is not uncommon. It's not uncommon at all. And let me say this, because some woman listening now is like, you know what? I've been pursuing this guy, and he's not interested. But I think, I think it's something there. So should I keep pursuing? No. No. This is where I'm going to push a heavy double standard. Or if you want to call it a double standard, I don't think it's a double standard. I just, I'm just talking about something that I have personally seen and I believe when it comes to pursuit. Um, for a man to pursue a woman that seems like she's not that interested, like, for example, this woman could not be interested because she's not over past pain from a relationship. That's, that's one that's kind of hard but not so much that's just a time thing hopefully um she also could want it says you you're not you don't mind doing the things that she's into is she asking you to take more of a lead in suggesting other things she said you don't have enough things in common she may not be talking about the things same things you're talking about this is where and and actually if you um Send me your email, and I'll send you a copy of my uh, book, Butt Neck and Honest, Conversational Foreplay for Dating. Some of the things that we don't ask, 
like um, you two are heavy into the Lord and stuff like that. But sometimes we don't have enough conversations about the physical aspect, intimacy, um, not just sexual intimacy, but intimacy as far as um, the entirety of it. What things does she, you, you, like, you mentioned some things here that are pretty recreational, hiking, um, outdoors, then you said whether it's going to an opera or a play, but you didn't re mention anything about um, nice dates movies walks in the park um you didn't mention anything about romantic things what romantic things are she into because she may not be good at vocalizing what it is because it sounds like you because because the not enough things in common thing mm, I've, I've seen scenarios and i've been in scenarios where me and the person i'm dating don't have a lot in common but we have in common that we really love each other care about each other um my close friend, one of my closest friends, um, his wife, they were great friends and she did not want to get married. Notice I said his wife. And I know several men, I know a lot of women, this is where I was getting to ladies, I know a lot of men who've been in scenarios where the woman didn't find him attractive, that wasn't her type, blah, blah, blah. And they are married to this woman now. Not that they stalk this chick. <laughs> no stalking. I'm not talking about stalking. Or if a woman says no and you don't understand no, I'm not talking about anything to get your head bashed in or get you locked up. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about pursuit and courting someone and being a friend. Like this brother's talking about he's a friend first, but he's wondering why it seems like every time things go forward, there's a pullback. There's a fear there. She could have a fear of commitment again. She could have a fear of wanting to get married or something in you that she sees that is stopping her um i don't think it's anything wrong with you guys being friends but it seems like she she came back for a reason but it could be something different that she's talking about maybe she's not feeling comfortable enough to open up and say well i'm not attracted to you in this way or something you don't know about you know the women is like it's, it's something i it's something you don't know about me I'm, I'm i'm pretty kinky but i love the lord you know whatever it is <laughs> <laughs> um, have those conversations um, it seems like you guys have a friendship but every time it goes towards that area she gets cold feet it's pretty normal it's pretty normal especially for people that have been married before and trying to decide if I want to go down that path and trying to decide what's what and you are a good guy um, I personally know this guy he is a good guy maybe she's not looking for a good guy quote unquote in that manner you know, I have a woman, uh, wonderful, and I think I'm a pretty good guy in a lot of senses. I got a bunch of junk wrong with me, this, that, and other. This one sister was telling me, well, it was when I first met you, you had those hoop earrings. And I thought that was so sexy. I was, I was like, well, so that was it. I had hair then, too. Uh, <laughs> so it's not crazy. It's not crazy. And a lot of guys feel like they put in that category. I talk to guys all the time. It's like, yo, I'm a nice guy, but it seems like these women don't want nice guys. It's another. Well, you know, go down the path if your heart is there. And if it gets to a point where you feel like, okay, this isn't going anywhere, there's nothing wrong with pulling back and reevaluating the heart. Take care of your heart, too. Your heart matters, too. But at the same time, Initiate the conversations that will give you some more of the answers you want. Like I said, send me your email address. I'll send you my book, my book Butt Naked Honest, Conversational Foreplay for Dating, Asking the Hard Questions Up Front. But yeah, um, you hate to say it. I hate to say it this way, but maybe it's not you. Maybe it's her. And maybe it's something that she hasn't opened up fully. Either she's scared, cold feet each time it gets serious, or there's something else that she's not saying that is the thing that she think you guys don't have in common. And I haven't heard you talk about anything in the romantic area because we can't avoid romance. We can't think that just because we love the Lord, it's going to work out. More marriages inside churches have divorces than the ones outside a lot of times. It's more polarized and people cover things up instead of being more open. So have some dialect, have some dialogue with her and see where her heart is if she opens up but um that's my take on it love you troywallingslive.com